Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're gonna see how this person is thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So, let's see. Spirit, how does this person feel about Capricorn? Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. Someone here is stressed out, Capricorn. Someone here feels left behind by you. They feel like um, you forgot about them. They could feel abandoned. Um, what I do feel though, is that this person is pretending like it's not bothering them. I feel like with this King of Wands energy, this person might even act like arrogant at times. Um, they're sort of putting on a show like it's, it doesn't impact them but in reality they actually are feeling this quite deeply i'm going to pull on that five of pentacles and they're really stressed out about this i feel like this person there's a lot of wondering they feel like um you know even if this was someone that you just thought was better off as a friend or you know you thought you don't there wasn't any sort of like ill feelings towards you and this person this person's taking it pretty hard like it's all it's like a hit to their ego I'm feeling um, that you they just feel left out by you tell me about the five of pentacles like you forgot about them like they're not important um, we have the page of swords the five of swords and the two of swords lots of air energy um, Gemini Libra Aquarius yeah this person is <laughs> they're trying to figure out why you don't want them or why at least you come off that way like you don't want them why you're indecisive I feel like this person, this person's used to playing games. I feel like if they sort of were playing this like cat and mouse game with you, I feel like usually that works. And so if you didn't give into that here, Capricorn, this person, it's like their plan backfired is how it feels. Um, and, but it's leaving them feeling like not good enough, leaving them feeling like left out in the cold by you. They're definitely keeping an eye on you here, um, either through social media or maybe asking people you know about you what you're up to if there's someone else um or they're just curious about what you're up to here again i feel like this person is too proud to sort of just outright say it so they're playing games here like they might sort of like watch your story or like leave a comment on something but not uh text you or call you like i just feel like this person is used to honestly it feels like being chased and and you're not doing that so this person is they're confused by you, but and they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to understand why you're indecisive about them. Usually they're the one that's indecisive, if anything. So they're stressed out here. Um, you're also getting five, five here. So look out for fives, but that is the number of like obstacles, challenges to overcome. So um, it could be that you're teaching this person that, you know, the, the cat and mouse game isn't going to work with you right? Um, but yeah, this person, I'm just getting like, they're stressed out and they feel like you forgot about them. Um, anything else for how they feel? If not three, I don't know if you saw that, that three of swords wanted to come out. We'll see if it does. We have the world. Six of pentacles, knight of swords, the queen of wands. The trouble is here, Capricorn, is that this person sees you as their perfect match in a lot of ways. They're very attracted to you here. 
there is a part of them that just wants to come like rushing forward here. There is a part of them that just wants to sort of give to this connection, but they're, I, I strongly feel with that King of Wands, like this is like their ego at play. Um, they're waiting for you to come to them, but I mean, we're going to see their actions because I feel like there's just like a lot of back and forth, especially with that two of swords, like just indecision here. Um, I feel like this person sees you as very compatible. Um, like there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. It just comes very naturally. It doesn't feel forced, which, um, I feel like it doesn't always happen for them. I feel like they're not as, they're very <laughs> selective, I guess you could say. Um, so that's also why this is driving them crazy and it's sort of stressing them out here. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, yeah, there is part of them that wants to sort of just rush in here and talk to you, you know, do a nice gesture, do something, kind of get your attention a little bit here. Um, but we'll see if they actually do it. Let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? <clears throat> There's that Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this person is just waiting for the right time here. They definitely want to offer you something. This could be someone who's used to, um, maybe they're quite flashy with their money or they have no problem like spending money and usually that works. So I feel like they're kind of doing that in the next little bit. They might offer you something, um, offer you to take you out somewhere or, you know, they might even purchase a gift. This can also be like acts of service. So like they might, you know, volunteer to do favors for you or something like this. Um, they're definitely taking action here though. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. They want to offer you something here. Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Judgment. Yeah. The, this person... I just keep getting their pride gets in the way. It's like they want this chance here with you. So Aces can represent new, right? But with the Judgment card here, the Judgment represents someone wanting reconciliation, another chance. So this person is trying a new way with you is kind of how it's coming through. But again, they're just like back and forth, right? Um, with all these pentacles coming out, I strongly feel like this person unfortunately might be used to um they kind of how do i put that this person is used to uh like the gift giving like i said there's something to do with money here where this person's either flashy or they use money in some way they offer to pay for a few things and then they sort of use that as like leverage it kind of feels like at least that's what it, they're used to doing and it works it's this person wants another chance here with you, but I feel like with you, Capricorn, they're going to need to have a conversation with you. They're going to need to be open. They're going to need to be vulnerable. They're going to need to be real. And I feel like there's a there's sort of like a mask going on here. This person thinks that they're kind of caught up in the material world. It just keeps coming through strong with these pentacles. Um they're going back and forth. It's like part of them wants to reach out, new energy, start fresh, let's do this. The other part like holds back. Like um, part of them wants to work on this. Part of them is like, yeah, like just confusing here. Just very confusing energy. So if you're confused by this person, I'm right there with you, Capricorn. I feel like this person doesn't really know what they want. All they do know is that their ego got hurt. They're, they, there's something different about you, first of all, with the attraction, but also that I feel like you, you're you not playing into the game that they're used to playing with people. So even though that usually works for them, um, because you're not, it's almost like they want you more because they can't have you. Let's... So they might come forward here, like I said, with some sort of gift or some sort of offer here, telling you they want another chance, but it's like, it's, it feels very back and forth. It feels very like one second they say one thing and then the next second they do, this could be like texting you all day one day and then the next day they just ghost. Um, and then if you say, hey, like, where'd you go? They'd be like, whoa, 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 like I was busy, like chill out kind of deal and kind of like flip it. Like that's that mind games, right? Like they, they know what they're doing. Um, 
let's see their intentions because I feel like this will help a little bit. What is this person's intentions? Oh my gosh. The lovers. Gemini energy. This person wants you. They could even be in love with you. This person has very strong feelings for you. Tell me more. Death, rebirth. Um, Scorpio energy. Tell me more. They want things to be different here. <laughs> seven of swords. What is this seven of swords? Ten of pentacles. Seven of wands. Now you're getting seven of seven. Eight of swords. What this, per this person is not being honest about the fact that they want a relationship with you, Capricorn. That they're in love with you. That they want things to be different. They want transformation here. They... They don't want to be in this cycle, whatever this cycle is that the two of you are in, if this back and forth. It's like, even if it's just this person and you're like, I'm not doing anything. It's all on this person's shoulders. They know this. Um, they're not being honest about the fact that they want a long-term relationship here. They're being defensive. I feel like it comes from a place of insecurity here with that eight of swords. This person's in their own prison, in their own mind. Um, again, we have to remember that if people are playing games right? They're playing cat and mouse. They're like used to people chasing them. This, this is like validation seeking in some way. And if it's worked for their whole dating life, and then all of a sudden someone comes along like you Capricorn, where it doesn't work anymore, it's going to make them stop and think and be like, whoa, like, wait a second, this usually works. And I want Capricorn because they're very attracted to you and they have a lot of feelings here for you. So and they want a relationship with you. They want you in their life. But this person's defensive. And I feel like they... There's a lot of, like, rewiring that has to be done. There's a lot of, like, rethinking and, you know, understanding that that mind game, that cat and mouse, isn't going to work with you. Um, and here's the thing. Let's just say this didn't work in the past with someone else. It didn't bother them as much. There's something about you here, especially because they see you as this um, perfect match in a lot. Like they feel like you're both very passionate. You're both very, um, you have great energy. I feel like you're, you're very attractive, right? It's almost like this person is, they view themselves very highly, I have to say, with that King of Wands energy. And they feel like you're on that sort of same level as them. Um... Yeah, this person wants long term here with you, but they're they're gonna keep that. This is again, it's just like this back and forth. It's like a part of them knows they need to do things differently. There needs to be some sort of transformation here, but they still plan on not telling you the truth about that they actually want long, like a long term thing here with you. And I think again, it comes back down to the ego. Like, well, what if Capricorn doesn't want me like that? What if I do open up and I'm vulnerable and I say how I feel and what I want and Capricorn shoots me down? Like they will avoid that pain at all costs, even if it means being dishonest with you about what they truly want, which is unfortunate. Um, but let's see their, the potential outcome, sorry. What is the potential outcome? Six of Pentacles. So again, I just feel like this person... <laughs> There's something about money here. This person just feels like as long, as long as they give you money or they spend money or they do nice things for you, that everything will be okay. Like the, like the vulnerability, like there's no um, conversation on the board. There's no talking. There's spying and there's indecision and there's mind games. There's no open, honest communication and there's no emotion here. I feel like this person like shuts those two things down we have judgment card again this person wants a chance here with you and they feel like as long as there's they're this could be someone who really who really has the mentality that as long as i spend money or i provide in some way or i do nice things i don't have to talk i don't have to open up i don't have to talk about feelings or do any of that because again maybe this has worked maybe they've had those types of relationships before and they didn't need to go deeper um, at the end of the day, I feel like this person is a wounded warrior. This is someone who, it almost feels like maybe the one time they were vulnerable and they did open up, they got shot down really hard. And so they're like, I'm never doing that again. It's not that this person doesn't want to, it's, it's that they feel they can't. Um, yeah, it just feels like there's, there's too much of a wall up here. 
And I feel like you can feel that with them, Capricorn. Um, tell me more about the potential outcome. Five of Cups. Yeah, this, yeah, and the Six of Cups. There's something about this person sort of stuck, I have to say here, Capricorn. I feel like there's going to be a strong physical connection between the two of you. There's going to be a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry. Um, you're going to notice that this person is, like, aesthetically very pleasing. Like, I feel like they take care of themselves in that way. I feel like they, like, appearance is important to them. Um... But when it comes to like going deeper, they're just not there. I feel like they're stuck here. I feel like they, again, there's something in their past that has happened. It doesn't necessarily have to be with a romantic partner. This could have been like, you know, they tried to be vulnerable with a parent or a caregiver or a best friend or something like that. And they got shut down or whatever. And so the, I feel like this person just decided a long time ago, I'm not opening up like that anymore. So this is not a you thing, Capricorn, but what's different about you is the pull that they feel towards you and um the physical attraction is like on 100 and the fact that you're not giving into their game um tell me about judgment like what does this person want a second chance for like what do they what do they want four of wands they want you they want stability here they want success here with you the four of wands can be it's to me it's like taking that next step so if you're not exclusive being exclusive if you're already exclusive it's m maybe moving in or meeting the family if you've already done that maybe it's going on a big trip together maybe it's uh engagement right like this person wants you there's no doubt about that but they are very uh afraid to open up and talk i have to say the, the talking is just like nowhere to be found here um and again, their emotion is just also not here. So some people just can't go to the emotional depths that we need them to go to in order for it to work. Maybe you're not looking for anything too deep right now, Capricorn. Maybe you're like, you know what? I'm okay with like a more surface level. We get along. We, you know, have that physical attraction. Maybe you're not looking for something deeper. Um, and so that could work, right? The potential here is that there is this four of wands. There is something happening here, but... Uh, maybe for some of you, you want something deeper. It all, like we're all on different points and our journeys are all different. But it, when it comes to this person, they can't go to that depth is what I'm getting. Um, let's see who this person is. Who is this person? How will Capricorn know? Knight of Swords. Someone who could be impulsive or just like um, very spontaneous. We got the Seven of Pentacles. We got the nine of cups. You know what I'm getting with this person? I feel like they have they they can't put roots down. I feel like this is someone who's kind of always on the go. I feel like they could travel a lot or be someone who's sort of always looking for that next thing, right? With with this energy, I just feel like they're kind of like a this person could physically like move all the time. Maybe they're a runner or something like that. Um or like they work out a lot or something like I just feel like this person's always doing something there's like a go 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 energy about them um that's where they're happy is is they feel fulfilled when they're settling down and putting down roots somewhere is like very scary to this person I feel like um they don't know where their roots want to be just yet so they're kind of always just looking for that next thing whether it's that next trip they want to take or that next activity they want to do or that next thing they want to try or whatever. So this type of person could be the person that's like every weekend or every date you're going somewhere different or you're doing something different. Um, yeah, it's very go, go, go energy. Um, any advice for Capricorn? The devil. Cap that's your energy. Be aware, uh, and we got the five of wands, yeah. Be, be aware of if energy is draining you, if you feel like, here's the thing, just like this person might be used to games and chasing, or like that cat and mouse, people chasing them. If we're used to fighting for someone's attention or, um, you know, and this usually happens in childhood where we had to like fight to get our parents or caregivers attention and then we're in relationships like that, it's almost like this blockage we have to overcome ourselves, right? Um, 
So we have to become aware of our own patterns as well. We can't just sit there and say, you know, why am I always attracting someone who doesn't want to go deeper, who doesn't want surface level? Well, maybe there's a part of us that also doesn't want to go deeper, right? Or is afraid to do that. Or maybe there's a part of us that feels like we don't deserve deeper, right? Um, we have to, t we have to, we have to acknowledge our accountability in the situation as well, right? So I just feel like um, if you feel like you're fighting for this person's attention and you're like, this is what I always have to do with this person. Like they're all, they're hot and cold. Like it's like, why do I always end up with people who I have to fight for their attention? It's like, well, there might be a story there that you're telling yourself that love is fighting for someone's attention, right? And that could, again, that could go back all the way to childhood. Um, so take that as it resonates. Just be aware of whatever your blockage is here. Is there anything else about the devil? The Knight of Pentacles. Take things slowly. There's no need to rush. Um, we've got Strength and the Three of Cups. Yeah, I just feel like um, addressing those blockages. If there's like a desire, like if we're doing things out of just like not wanting to be lonely either right um or not yeah just i feel like just harness that inner strength and be like what what is it that that's happening here on my end too that's that's just kind of what's coming through and obviously that'll be different for everyone um so let's let's see what we get from kipper here messages for capricorn we got thief okay Oh my gosh, these cards are just flying. Tell me more. We got unexpected income. We got bad health. And we got toil and labor. So I feel like there's just like a lot of heavy energy here. But again, the unexpected income is just sort of, I feel like this person sort of just offering something here. But again, if they're sort of stealing your peace even, right? Or you just feel like you're fighting all the time or there's drama or there's tension or it just feels like a lot of work with this person, that devil and that five of wands, just be aware of that um, is what I'm getting. So let's see if there's hidden messages for you, Capricorn. Any hidden messages for Capricorn? Thank you. There's a big hole in my heart that I cannot fill on my own. So again, like this could be you, this could be the other person, right? Like, is there a sense of like emptiness that you feel can only be um, filled with another person or like validated by another person? I strongly feel like it's this person who's sitting in that energy. But of course, like, you know, energy is fluid. Take what resonates. And if you're a cross watcher, it could be, you know, um, the other way. It could be a bit of both of you. But yeah, just be aware of that. We got my mask keeps me safe. I need to fake my feelings. Again, this person with their mask. I've lost faith in you and cannot see a future with you anymore. I feel like this is that back and forth because this person, because then look, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So it's like, I feel unbalanced and uneasy. I don't know what to do to fix it. This is what I'm saying. It's like this person knows that they do this back and forth, that it's not okay but they also don't know what to do moving forward. Rejecting you is protecting myself. I was being selfish. I'm telling you, this person like purposely could have pushed you away, self-sabotaged here. Um, again, tried to engage you in this like cat and mouse game that you just didn't engage in. I have many regrets that keep me from moving forward. This is what I'm saying. I feel like this person is sort of stuck a little bit here. Even though they want you, they there's a lot that they need to process we have i'm afraid to contact you i replay our conversations over and over i cannot be vulnerable with you i'd rather hide in the darkness before i let you see inside of me like multiple cards here of just this person can't open up i do see we will be together again at the bottom so it's like they know they need to open up in order to be with you fully but they also feel like they can't they also don't want to lose you, but they also don't want to chase. They want you to chase them. Like there's a lot of like back and forth. We got growth and we got relationships. Um, I think, was it Virgo or Taurus that got this as well? 
but you got growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So again, if this kind of energy comes in, or this is someone from the past with that judgment card, um, wanting another chance here, um, we have to sort of look at it like, what are they teaching me? How am I growing from this? Right? What am I gaining rather than losing? Are, are there patterns in myself that maybe I'm unaware of that I need to address? Or, um, you know, what have you. But there is growth here. I mean, everything is a lesson or a blessing. Right? Um, sometimes both. Meditation brings answers. So spirit really asking you to um, maybe meditate, gather some answers that way, clear your mind. We also got helpful people, which to me is just, you know, leaning on those around you that you can trust and maybe confide in, see what their thoughts are. That can also be for, you know, tarot readings, um, if you find that helpful. <clears throat> be bold and make the first move. <laughs> The energy is gaining momentum. I feel like this per that's just this person coming forward here. Um, finally. Yeah. Messages for Capricorn. Thank you. We got Y. Number 31. So let's read these. Read this. Sorry. Sometimes subconsciously denying the truth may drive you toward a specific outcome that actually aligns with an intention hidden from your awareness. For example, you may want to be prominent in your profession, but your desire is not really about sharing your talents, but about making yourself feel better because fame would cause people to admire and approve of you. Or, may, or you may want to reunite with the partner who rejected you because you believe that your love continues to be strong, but deep down what you really desire is to have the last word with that person. Now is the time for deep soul searching of the why that drives your choices. What you uncover will set you free and bring you ever closer to the happiness that you seek. So again, kind of going back to your advice here, Capricorn, like why is this energy in my life, right? Why? What part do I play in this? Um, kind of deeping it, digging deep into that subconscious. So, which can be hard work to do, right? It can be overwhelming, it can be scary, um, but very beneficial as well. So let's see. Um, these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates or significant dates, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we have G, A, I, L, S, U, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energies. Sending so much love and light.